Hi everyone. Today tutorial is creating a floor grading panel in a variable size. We can find in this picture, there are three parts in a panel. They are bearing bar or load bar, cross bar, or cross rod and banding bar. In this tutorial, I'm going to create part by part of the grading panel and load into the main family. And also I will using this information in the picture to create the parameter. Ok, let go to the Revit. Open the new Revit family and select the generic model. Here, I start to create the bearing bar first. It has length, depth, and thickness. Before start to create, let's set up the parameter first. Select the existing reference line and create the similar for bearing bar's length. Offset 1 meter for default. Go to front view. Create a similar reference line for depth. Offset 25 millimeters from the reference level. Insert a diameter and set a parameter for bearing bar's depth. Insert another a diameter and set a parameter for bearing bar's length. OK, go to create and select sweep. Pick up work plane where we want to create and open. Go to sketch path and draw a line, align to the reference line and lock it. Go to edit profile and draw a rectangle at left or right side view. Lock to the reference line. Insert dimensions. Can change a scale if too large. Make equal from central line. And insert a dimension for bearing bar thickness. Add parameter for bearing bar thickness. Select instance and click OK. Finish the sweep. Check on 3D view. It is OK. Save and name this family as bearing bar at one folder. OK. Let create another family for crossbar. Go to a new family select generic model and open it. Select the existing reference line and offset it for 1 meter as default. Insert dimension and add parameter for crossbar's length. Select instance and click OK. Go to create and select sweep to create crossbar. Set up work plane. Pick up the reference plane. Go to sketch path and draw a line. Align the edge of line to reference line. And lock it. Click OK. Go to edit profile and select circle. Draw a circle in left view. Insert a dimension. Add a parameter for radius. Select instance and click OK. Finish the sweep. Go to 3D view and change to shade. Check and play the parameter. It is working. Save the family as crossbar at one folder. OK. Now let's start creating for a grading panel in a new generic model. Select a existing reference and create a similar. Offset 500 mm for grading panels width as default. Offset 1 meter for grading panels span as default. Go to front view. Select the existing reference line and create a similar. Offset 25 mm for bearing depth. Go back to reference level. Insert dimension. Add parameter for grading panels width. Select instance and click OK. Add parameter for grading panels span. Select instance and click OK. Create a sweep. Sketch path. Draw a rectangle. Lock to the reference line. And finish the sketch path. Go to edit profile. 
draw a rectangle in left side view. Align to reference line. And lock it all. Insert dimension. Change the scale if too large. Add parameter as bearing bars thickness. Select instance and click OK. And finish the sweep. OK. Now let's start to load in the bearing bar and crossbar family. Go to insert. Find the folder. Select the family. Open and load into grading panel family. Go to project browser and find in the family. Drag in the bearing bar family. Tap the space bar to turn the direction and drop it somewhere. Before arrange the bearing bar, create the similar reference line. Offset 50 mm for two more reference line for bearing bar spacing. Insert dimension. Add parameter for bearing bar spacing. Select instance and click OK. Insert one more dimension. Add parameter for bearing bar spacing. Align the bearing bar to the reference line. And lock it. Select the bearing bar and go to properties. Add a new parameter for bearing bar's depth. Select instance and click OK. Add and select the bearing bar's length and equal to span. Add and select the thickness and equal to bearing bar's thickness. Select the bearing bar. And array to next reference line. Align the reference line. Select the bearing bar and select array number. Add a new parameter for number of bearing bar. Select instance and click OK. Go to type of properties. Add formula for number of bearing bars parameter. To get equal number in grading panels width. Formula is width divided by number of bearing bar spacing. And click apply and OK. Can see here one exceed. So go back to properties. Edit the formula. Minus one. Select apply and click OK. Go back to properties again. Check and test the parameter for width. It is working. Go to project browser. Drag the crossbar in and place it somewhere in reference level. Select the existing reference line. Offset 100 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and create a new parameter for crossbar spacing. Select instance and click OK. Select another dimension and add parameter to crossbar spacing also. Align to the reference line and lock it. Select the crossbar. Its length add parameter and equal to width. Select crossbar. Create a new radius parameter. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Add one more a new parameter for crossbar diameter. Select instance and click OK. Add 6 mm for crossbar diameter value as default. And add formula diameter divide by 2 for crossbar radius. Apply and click OK. Go to front view. Align the crossbar to reference line. Select the existing line. Create a similar and offset 3 mm as default. Insert dimension. Add parameter as crossbar radius. Align the crossbar to the reference line. And lock it. Go back to reference level and select the crossbar. And array to the next spacing. 
a line to the reference line. And lock it. Select the array. Add the number of crossbar parameter. Go to family type. Add a formula for number of crossbar. The formula is span divided by crossbar spacing. Apply and click OK. Check and one number of crossbar exceed. So go to family type. Edit the formula. Minus 1 in the formula. Apply and click OK. Go to 3D view. Check the span and width parameter. The parameters are working. OK. Now a grading panel family is completed. Thank you for watching.